Hello guys, finally, welcome to my YouTube channel. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> In this video, I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step makeup tutorial while recommending some makeup products. Okay, first step, let us prep our skin. Before this, I'm gonna be using the Saipo True Do Brightening Gel Cream. This is super moisturizing and it's perfect for oily, normal, and dry skin people. And I also sometimes use the Hamish Artless Glow Base because this one is like a 3-in-1 product. This can be a sunscreen because it has SPF 50. And it can also be an illuminator and a moisturizer. So I'm just gonna apply like this amount of product. So I'm just gonna be applying it all over my face. Ayan nilagay ko sa likod yung buhok ko para hindi siya sagabal. Also, like, um, di pa ko sanay tumingin sa camera kasi phone na yung gamit ko pag film. So, please don't mind pag sa screen ako minsan nakatingin kasi hindi pa talaga ako sanay. Okay, look how it moisturized my skin. It looks like a glazed donut. Before we proceed, maglalagay muna ako ng contact lens kasi nakalimutan ko. This is my favorite contact lens and this is from Decart and it's in a style bright blue. And yung issue ko lang sa kanya is umiikot siya. So weird siya. Parang ko umiiyak. Yung issue ko lang sa kanya is umiikot siya. As you can see. Like, kailan mo pa siyang ganyanin. Diba? As you can see, lakas niya mga doin or like anime eyes. I love it so much. Anyway, tip lang pala. If dry yung under eyes nyo, use your moisturizer as an eye cream para hindi mag-crease yung concealer nyo or hindi mag-cake sa under eye area. Right now, my under eyes are really dry. So, maglalagay ako ng moisturizer under my eyes. And then, ipapat-pat ko lang siya para mag-set. Next step is primer, but hindi naman siya ganun ka necessary kasi minsan yung moisturizer or yung eliminator is pwede na rin siya maging primer. Today, I'm gonna be using this ZC Primer and it's in purple kasi kinacancel out niya yung yellow sa face. And konting-konti lang yung kailangan mo kasi may tendency siya na ang puti niya tignan sa face. So, ganito lang kadami yung ginagamit ko. And then, I just put it like sa center ng face. And then, ini-spread ko siya outwards. Ang dry ng skin ko today, ang dami kong dry patches and peeling. So, please ignore that. <laughs> so, this is how the primer looks like when blended out. It's so nice. For illuminators naman, I like the Isian Co. True Flex Illuminator, the Get Ready With Me On The Glow Skin Booster, and also the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. And yung difference nilang tatlo is this one is it gives your face that sheen and meron siyang like really light coverage. Yung On The Glow Skin Booster is wala talaga siyang coverage and binibigyan na lang talaga ng glow yung skin mo. And wala siyang chunky glitters and hindi siya oily sa face. Unlike this one. This one naman, may siyang chunky glitters, but hindi naman siya ganun ka-visible. And it's also moisturizing. Like the e.l.f. Halo Glow one. So, choose na lang what suits your skin type best. Since my skin today is so dry, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Halo Glow. And ilalagay ko lang siya all over my face. Kasi that's how much I love this product. Or illuminating in general. I'm in the shade number 2, by the way. I like blending it in with a stippling brush. Or sometimes this one. And today, I'm gonna be using this brush. So, ayan. Ibi-blend mo lang siya. Just pat, pat, pat. Look at that glow. It's so nice. Kung hindi lang mainit sa Pilipinas, araw-araw ko tong gagamitin. <laughs> For foundation naman, I'm gonna be using this Detail Fresh Filter in the shade Cashew. And I also like using the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Kasi this one performs like a high-end foundation talaga. But today, I'm gonna be using this one. Kasi this is also a favorite of mine. I usually do two pumps and then okay na siya. So, ayan. I really, really like this foundation. It's a local foundation. And the quality is so good. Like, it's the best local foundation for me. I'm gonna be using a damp beauty sponge. Don't forget to damp your sponge. Kasi iba talaga yung pagka-blend niya. Mas natural siya tignan. Cashew is the perfect shade for me. Pero kasi pag nag-oxidize siya, it's kind of darker na sa skin ko. So, I usually mix oat and cashew. As you can see, ang ganda ng lapat sa skin. Ang ganda ng coverage. Ang ganda niya. It's my favorite local foundation talaga. And with the damp sponge, it's so soft. It's so satisfying to just pat your face all day. Woo! And then blending it again. My lips look so crusty. So make sure to prep your lips before doing your makeup. And I love using this from Detail. It's their Jelly Lip Plumper. And nakaka-plump siya ng lips. Malamang plumper. And I'm gonna be wiping it off pag magli-lipstick na ako. For concealer, I really like using this one from Get Ready With Me, the Radiance Tint. I'm using the shade 09 Warm. But I also really like using the Sem Concealer because this is so affordable but ang ganda ng coverage niya. For spot concealing naman, ito lang talaga yung concealer na ma-recommend ko. It's the NARS Soft Matte Concealer, yung naka-pot. 
This is so nice guys, like literal na eraser siya sa acne marks. But today I'm gonna be using the Get Ready With Me Concealer as I always do. Ganyan lang ako mag-concealer. That and then right here. Hindi ko minamarinate yung concealer ko kasi, I know, sometimes it's kind of hard to blend. So, minsan ko lang minamarinate pag sobrang moisturizing yung concealer. So, ayan, hina-highlight ko lang yung ibang parts ng face ko. Kasi nagda-dark na yung foundation. Just gonna be blending it out with the same sponge. I love using local makeup brands talaga kasi they stepped up their game. Like, they perform like high-end na talaga. Like, some of them. And it makes me so happy kasi ang ang dami ng shade range, ang dami ng choices, hindi tulad before. And they also put like, sa eyelids ko, ganyan. So, as you can see, parang ng blank canvas yung face ko, which is always my goal when applying my base products. For liquid or cream bronzers, I have a lot of options for you guys. I mean, tatlo. I have the Frere Cosmetics Glowy Matte Blush in the shade Cozy Night. This is so nice. And look at the shade, like, ang perfect niya for bronzer. Also, I always use this Isian Co. Cream Cheek Bronzer in the shade Molten. This is so easy to use and super buildable, perfect for beginners. And lastly, this soft touching blush from Celesco in the shade Sunkissed. Pwede siyang brown tour and I love this so freaking much as in. So today, I'm gonna be using this one. Putting like dots on my face, like I usually put like three dots. And super affordable lang nito guys. And maganda rin yung blush shades nito, especially Darling and Sweetener. And tumaba na yung mukha ko, so of course, kailangan natin lagyan here. Like, kung nilalagyan dito. We need the shadow there. Ayan, blend lang natin siya. And tapping motions lang. Here. For contour, I love using this Isian Co. Active Concealer in the shade SD1. Kasi super subtle lang ng contour niya. And hindi siya like nagmukhang harsh. So, nilalagay ko lang siya here. Here. And also sa nose. Ginawa ko ng mirror yung screen. Oh my god, wait lang. Okay, ganyan siya. And using the smaller version of this brush, I'm gonna be using this to blend my contour. Basically, blend mo lang na ganyan. I'm just gonna use this brush. <laughs> Kasi mas, ano siya, malaki. So, ayan. Medyo mahirap pala yan. For my nose, I'm gonna use this brush. By the way, guys, all the products that I used in this video are in the description box below. So, yung choices ko for liquid blush today are Celesco Darling and the Lovely Cosmetics Blush in Fave Color. So, hindi ko alam anong gagamitin ko. Maybe I'll just go with the Lovely Cosmetics. Pero maganda din to, guys. What I love about the Lovely Cosmetics Blush is that it's really buildable. Like, as you can see, feeling mo sobrang dami na yan, pero hindi. It's like really buildable and super natural lang. For blush, I use like this type of like brush. Parang 100 pesos lang to for 10 pieces. And dati pa to, nung mga 2017. Blend mo lang ng ganyan. As you can see, akala mo super dami na nun, but sakto lang siya. The color is so pretty. I love Lovely Cosmetics blushes so much. And it's so underrated. It's super blendable din. Applying some on my nose. Ganyan. Nibiblend ko lang siya using my sponge para seamless siya tingnan. Super flawless ng base natin. Okay, let's move on to powder. So, yung choices ko today is the Get Ready With Me Velvet Setting Powder, Burn Bliss Soul Matte Loose Powder, and then Sace Lady Face Powder. Kasi this one is very affordable and it has a really good quality. Yung issue ko lang sa kanya is mali yung shade na nakuha ko. As you can see, sobrang puti. So, yeah, if you're like on a budget, this one is really good. But I think today, I'm gonna go with the Baron Bliss um, Loose Powder. This is in the shade 01 pala. I always thought I got the shade 02, but 01 pala siya. Tip for applying um, loose powder is, ayan, get the product, and then take your palm, and then iganyan mo siya sa palm mo. Para maganda yung lapat niya sa skin. So, I'm just gonna apply it under my eyes and all over my face. Look at that. Diba? Super like smooth niya. So, that's the hack that I learned on TikTok. Tignan nyo naman yung difference. I love this loose powder so much. Really perfect for oily skin. Ayan. Ayan. Super smooth ng base natin. Okay, now moving on sa powder products. So, I have a lot of options here. If you want yung 
um, all-in-one na. This one from Detail Cosmetics is really good. As you can see, my blush na, my highlighter, and my contour and bronzer. And it's like 500 plus lang. Medyo powdery lang siya, pero it's really good, guys. I swear. Also, the Get Ready With Me um, Quad Goals Palette. This is so good. Okay, mali yung nakuha ko. Nasa drawer ko yung like kong ginagamit. But anyway, kinustomize ko siya, kaya ganyan. So, ito yung contour, yung bronzer, and then yung glowy blushes. And I also really like the Flower Nose Contour and Highlight Palette, as you can see. Super nice tong packaging. And it smells like chocolate, kasi... This is from their Chocolate Wonder Shop series. It smells so good. As in. But if you're like a deeper morena, this won't show up on you. Kasi medyo ashy siya and medyo light. So, ayun lang. And then if you want like a really good affordable alternative or like an option, um, I recommend the Sace Lady Contour Palette. I always, always, always use this. Kasi it's really nice sa nose contour. I love this so much. I'm gonna be using the Get Ready With Me Quad Goals Palette. So, this one, I'm gonna be using the bronzer first. I'm gonna use a fluffier brush. Ayan. What I like about this is hindi talaga siya powdery. So, ayan. As you can see, may nakita ba kayo? Wala. I'm just gonna like warm up my face. Like that. And it's very blendable. I really, really like it. This palette is definitely perfect for beginners talaga. Kasi it's very, very, very buildable. Hindi agad like pakak yung pigment niya. So, hindi siya nakakagulat. Apply lang natin ang ganyan. Binigyan na ng warmth yung face ko again. And, ayan. It's so nice. Using the contour shade, I'm gonna sculpt my cheeks again. I'm gonna be using the same brush kasi it works naman. Dito lang sa areas na gusto kong pumayat. Ganun. Dito and then here. My face looks sculpted and bronzed and I really like it. Now, let's proceed to nose contour and I'm gonna be using the Sace Lady Contour as I always do. Kasi I really like this product talaga. I'm gonna be using a angled fluffy brush. Ganto siya. And I'm just gonna take the product and then, you know, just contour your nose like that. Nasanay ako na sa screen ako tumitingin pag nagme-makeup. Kasi sa TikTok, sa screen ako tumitingin most of the time. For brows, if you've been watching my TikToks, you know what I've been using to lighten it. I love using this Lumuk Eyebrow Gel. Like, ito talaga yung like kong ginagamit kasi I don't want to draw my brows kasi tinatamad ako. I'm gonna be using the spoolie that it came with. So, this is the Lumuk Brow Brush and the spoolie. So, pag binili mo to, may kasama ng ganito. I usually put it at the back of my hand which mas easy pag nilagay mo sa spoolie pero kasi nakasanayan ko nang ilagay siya sa back of my hand. So, yun yung gagawin ko. Just squeeze out the product. Actually, dami na to. So, ayan. Mas konti pa dyan yung kailangan mo. So, what I do is, I take the product, and then, ayan. Pinabrush ko lang siya sa brows ko para makoat siya and makolor. And kasi, tamad ako magkilay, kaya this one works for me. I just shape my brows and then apply brow gel and I'm good to go. It's like, one of my favorite products ever. As in, this is super affordable. And it also holds my hair in place the whole day. So, that's A+. Plus. And madami pang natira, so, konti anyo na lang paglagay. Moving on to my favorite part, which is eyeshadows. Kasi, alam niya na, yung eyeshadow ko is dapat talagang may glitter. So, I'm gonna be recommending you my favorite eyeshadow palettes na may glitter or shimmer. This is gonna be like an eyeshadow recommendation part of the video. <laughs> Have like, a bunch. Starting off with... Romand. If you're gonna buy a palette from them, I highly recommend getting Rosebud Palette and the Light and Glitter Palette kasi super worth it na to. This one, you can use it for every day and the chunky glitters are so pretty. And also the Light and Glitter Palette, everything is so usable and so chunky and pretty. I love these palettes so much. And so far, hindi naman nag-mold. If you want like an affordable option na may chunky glitters and shimmers, of course, yung local brands natin is nag-step up na yung game. So, meron yung Choo Choo Beauty and they have like three shades. So, duo siya. May chunky glitters and shimmers. So, ayan. This is very affordable as well. Same quality lang sila ng mga K-Beauty eyeshadow glitter. Another K-Beauty palette. This one is so, so nice. Yung Unleashed. Yung Unleashed. Yung difference nila ng Roman is this one is more chunky yung glitters. And yung Unleashed is more buttery and mas nangingibabaw yung shimmers niya. Or like mas madami yung shimmers. And then if you want like a kind of affordable all-in-one eyeshadow palette, um, this one is wala lang siyang chunky glitters. But these ZC palettes are so freaking good. Like for 300 plus pesos ata. These are so good. Like, wala talaga siyang masyadong fallout. It's super pigmented and blendable. It's super pretty as well. Like, pag-receive mo, may ano siya, like, 
As you can see, may ganito siya, may design. Ito, nawala na kasi lagi ko siyang ginagamit. As you can see, ito, super nice. ZZ palettes are so underrated. They're so good. Of course, I have here my prettiest palette. The Flower Nose Chocolate Wonder Shop Palette. Meron din ako nung Strawberry Rococo, pero tinatamad akong kunin siya. Flower Nose palettes are so pretty. And hindi lang siya pretty aesthetically, but the quality is also really good. Like, trust me, it's so blendable. It's so pigmented like this one this one this shows up on my lid and i'm a morena so that says a lot this one is my most used flower nose palette and it's their circus palette parang circus series nila parang book it's so cute and then look the shades are very wearable like lagi ko talaga tong ginagamit guys like these shades like always mix them together also the shimmers are really pretty if you're gonna buy one palette from flower nose this is the way to go kasi ang daming shades and all of them are so wearable so ito yung gagamitin natin today so the look that i'm gonna go for today is a mix of doyin korean and southeast asian makeup i'm gonna be using this shade first this one ayan i'm gonna be applying it all over my lid I really like using like a big brush for the first shade, para makoot talaga yung lid ko. Ayan, just blending it out. Okay, as you can see, the color is so pretty. And actually, pading ganon na lang. Inlagyan mo na lang yung lower lashes mo. But I'm extra, so I'm gonna add like a darker color. So pading finger lang gamitin mo. So I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm just gonna apply it here. Para siyang maging gradient, ganun. So, yung brush kanina, kuha ko ng yung ginamit ko, yung dark shade. And I'm just gonna like blend it sa lid ko. Medyo harsh siya, pero wait lang, hindi pa ako tapos. Excess product, ganyan. And then just blend the edges para clean talaga siya tignan. Take your time to blend your eyeshadow. It looks very plain right now, but trust me, mamaya pag nasa glitter part na tayo, it's gonna change the whole vibe, so... Be patient. So using a brush like this, yung fluffy brush, take like the first eyeshadow that we used. Ganon. Like a light color. And then apply mo lang siya sa bottom lashes. As you can see, mukha na siyang may eggisal. Kasi may natural eggisal na ako. So mukha na ako nag-eggisal. Okay, dito na talaga ako nakatingin sa screen. Ano ba? So to draw an eggisal, you can use like these kind of brushes like... Paano ba to? Wow! YouTuber! <laughs> so, brushes like these work so well. Like, yung super nipes. And also, like, brow brushes. It's gonna work well with doing eggisal. So, this is, like, my favorite brush in doing eggisal. So, I'm gonna use this one. And in doing eggisal, I just used the eyeshadow palette na ginamit ko sa look ko. And then, I'm gonna use the darkest shade. So, ayan. Just dip the brush there. Then tap the excess. What you're gonna do is you're gonna squint your eyes. You can see your natural egg yourself. Pero if wala, just fake it. Ayan, like that. <laughs> Parang tapa. Ganyan, mag-squint ka and then follow like the natural shadow of your egg yourself. Ganyan. Ayan, medyo na-trace ko na siya. So, dadagdagan pa natin. Kakapalan mo lang siya depending on how you want it to look. Oh, kasi gusto ko yung super harsh na egg yourself. Yung pang doyin talaga. Ganun yung mga eggisal nila, di ba? Like, it's super visible. Pero yung gusto mo yung natural lang, then you can control it naman. So, pwede na lang talaga kung ano yung bet mo. Oh my God, nag-flake yung eyelids ko. Kita nyo yan? Sobrang dry talaga ng skin ko ngayon. Pero kasi, dahil gusto ko mag-film. Ayan, nag-makeup ako. So, as you can see, na-trace na natin yung eggisal. And look at the difference. This one is puffier. And medyo harsh na tignan kung ganyan lang. So, what I like to do is, kunin mo yung same shade, like, like that. And then, dito natin ilalagay sa outer part. Ayan, ganyan siya. So, kita nyo na. Yung technique is, you take like this lighter shade, and then ilagay mo siya here, kung hindi siya visible, like that. And then also here. Ayan, o oh, ba? Diba? Ganyan na ganyan yung mga eggisal ng mga doyin girls. Parang na-enlarge na yung eyes ko. So, it's time to do it on the other side. I'm gonna link this brush set. Kasi it's from a fake Zoeva brush set. But the brush set na yun is like, ang dami niyang brush. And it's super affordable. Like, 200 pesos lang. Ang dami niyang kasama. And lahat magagamit mo. Like, this one. So, this is how it looks like. It's more on the harsh eggisal. Kasi it's more on the doyin side. But if you want to like, get natural looking, I guess I'll conti an mo na lang paglagay and then blend mo na lang. Now let's move on to eyeliner. For a beginner, gel liners or like pencil liners are highly recommended. Pero kasi ubus na yung mga gel liner ko, so I'm just gonna use a liquid eyeliner and this one is from O2O. It's a brush tip siya, which I really like. 
Oh, ganyan. Ayan, connect na na lang. Ayan. O, oh, ba? Practice makes perfect talaga pag sa eyeliner. So, practice lang kayo araw-araw and mapaperfect nyo din yan. I'm just gonna like, I don't know, make it thicker. <laughs> so, ganyan siya. Kahit like tumingin ako sa camera, hindi, alam nyo yung eyeliner na like pag nakaganyan ka, else, hindi nakita. So, eto, pag nakatingin ka straight, kitang-kita pa din yung eyeliner. If meron kayong gel eyeliner, it's better to like tight line. So, wala akong gel liner right, right now kasi ubos na nga. So, hindi ako makapag-type line. Then siya. So, now, let's move on to my favorite part, which is the glitter. So, hindi ko alam kung anong gagamitin kong palette. Actually, let's just go with the affordable option. So, I'm gonna go with Choo Choo Beauty. Just gonna use the pink shimmer kasi it looks really cute. So, when applying glitter, you can use your finger or a brush. I like using a flat brush like this. When you, like take the glitter. So, example ito. I'm gonna take some glitter. Pag may glitter na sa brush, I highly recommend to spray some setting spray. So, I have this DC setting spray. It's really good. So, and spray mo lang yung brush. Take some glitter again para dumikit siya sa brush. Ayan. And then, apply it on your lids. Ganyan. Idagan pa natin para makita nyo. It's literally so pretty and it's from a local brand. Like, wow. It just makes your makeup look so much better. And then again, same process. You spray your brush with a setting spray. Take some glitter. And then, lagyan mo yung egg yosal. Like that. Like, dahan-dahan lang para hindi siya magkalat. Gently press it para talagang dumikit siya sa skin. Tatagdigan natin kasi I love glitter so much. Tatagdigan natin. Compare this eye to this eye. Parang mas buhay to. Okay, next part is also like one of my favorite parts talaga. So, diba, you have this palette. Diba, may glitter and shimmer. So, take the shimmer. Ayan, just take the shimmer. Di mo na kailangan i-setting spray, pero pwede din naman. Okay, setting spray na lang natin. Okay, setting spray natin. This is what makes your eyes pop talaga. So, kita mo yung ano, parang highlight dyan na parang curve. Yan, lalagyan natin yan ng shimmer. So, just go like that. Look at that, guys. And then, extend nyo lang. Like, ang ganda talaga. Also, Lovely Cosmetics has a liquid shimmer. So, if you want that, then that's a good option also. So, lalagyan ko dito konti para mag-connect siya. So, that's why I'm obsessed with glitter. It's super duper nice. Super ganda, super glittery, and it will all come together pag nag-lashes na tayo. For the lashes, when doing this kind of makeup look, I highly recommend Fabu Lash kasi their lashes are like created for Asian lashes talaga and they're so good. If you want that spiky lashes look, go for L20 kasi as you can see, sobrang ganda and it's very spiky and tinitipid ko siya kasi wala na yung isa and isa na gamit na so isa na lang yung unused but I'm gonna use it today para sa inyo I also really love L6 like ito talaga yung favorite ko kasi it gives that lash extension look also L7 this is like a less glam version of L6 mas ano siya mas maikli. The lash glue that I'm using pala are from Polash. Kasi sa lahat ng lash glue na natry ko, Fabula, ay, ano ba? Polash lang talaga yung talagang nagsistay kahit umiyak ka pa. Nandyan pa din yung lashes mo. So yeah, let's use Polash. Today, I'm gonna use the black adhesive kasi paubos na yung clear so tinitipid ko na siya. So let's use black today. Medyo namutla ako so nilagyan ko ng konting lip tint yung lips ko. Anyway, before applying falsies, you need to curl your lashes talaga. This is non-negotiable. Para magmukha siyang blended sa false lashes. The lash curler that I'm gonna recommend is this one from Polash. Kasi everything from Polash is just amazing. Kahit yung lashes nila. And talagang nakaka-curl siya ng lashes ko. Sa lahat ng ginamit kong curler, ito lang talaga yung nang work sa akin. Also, I really like the Polash blade to shave my face, shave my brows. Also, meron siyang kasamang 10 na blades. So, yung iba, ay yung isa doon, ginagamit ko pang open ng parcel, o ba? Ang excess na parang band, ikat natin siya. Also, for applying my lashes, I like using these tools. Minsan gusto ko ito, minsan gusto ko yung sa polish. Today, I'm gonna be using this one. Ganyan lang siya. And then, apply the lash glue. Huwag masyadong madami yung ilagay yung lash glue. Like, sakto lang. So, ayan siya. Ayan. Let's wait for like 30 seconds to 1 minute para maging tacky siya. So, 
ihipan mo muna. Ayan, medyo tacky na siguro siya. I'm be applying it na. Start sa middle. And then sa gilid. Also sa inner corner. Please invest in a good lash glue. Pag pangit yung lash glue na binili nyo, mahihirapan talaga kayo mag-apply ng lashes. So as you can see, sobrang easy lang. And sobrang ganda. Lakas makadoy yung makeup yung L20. I like to do this para dumikit yung lashes. Doon talaga sa lash line. What I like to do is I curl my lashes with a lash curler. Para mag-blend talaga siya sa natural lashes ko. I-curl lang natin siyang ganyan. And as you can see, ang ganda. Sometimes um, nilalagyan ko siya ng mascara. But for this type of lashes, I will not. Kasi baka masira yung style niya. Pero pag L6 or L7 yung gamit ko is nilalagyan ko ng mascara. <laughs> Nag-blank ko. Anyway, I'm gonna teach you guys how to curl your lower lashes. Kasi curling your lower lashes will make a huge difference. So, di ba ganito yung lash curler? So, balik ta rin mo lang. And wag kang matakot. Hindi may ipit yung skin mo. Tignan nyo lang sa mirror kung nakuha nyo yung lower lashes mo. And then, curl it. Ganyan. Same lang din sa upper lashes. Mga 10 seconds. 10 to 15 seconds. Hindi nyo pa kita, pero ayan, curled na siya. Today, I'm gonna be using the Roman Han All Fix Mascara kasi this is such a great mascara, guys. So, as you can see, nalagyan ko na ng mascara yung lower lashes and mas visible na siya. So, this is how my eye makeup looks like. Ang ganda talaga ng glitters, also the lashes and the contacts. Like, this is like my favorite type of eyeshadow look. As in. Anyway, let's proceed to powder blush. Sobrang dami kong ma-recommend na powder blush. From affordable to like medyo pricey. Again, if you want like that all-in-one palette, yung may blush na, may bronzer, may contour, highlighter. This one, I highly recommend from Detail Cosmetics. Also, yung blush palette na quad goes ng Get Ready With Me. It's so nice kasi four shades of blush in one palette. So, if you have like a light skin tone or like fair to light skin tone, you might want to try the Flower Nose blushes. Kasi sobrang ganda talaga. But some shades are too light on me. So, hindi siya masyadong nagsashow up. Like this one. So, ito siya. Ginagawa ko nalang siyang brightener. And I think your purpose niya talaga is to brighten your face or your under eyes. As you can see. My favorite shade among all of these is this one from the Chocolate Wonder Shop. In the shade 03. Kasi this one, nagsashow up talaga siya sa skin ko. Nagsashow up naman yung iba. But... It's like very light on me. So, pinapatungan ko ng darker blush. So, ayan. Super nice. So, this one. This is my favorite packaging. I think this is from their Circus series. So, ayan. This is the shade. Parang gradient siya. And it's so pretty. So, I really, really like the Choo Choo Beauty powder blushes. This one is Miss Dolly. And if you're looking for that really cool toned pink, this one is for you. And tatlong shades yung makukuha mo sa blush na to. This one, this one, and mixed together. And same sa Dear Lily. This is my favorite shade, by the way, kasi it's just, it looks really good on my skin tone. I'm gonna be using this one first, and then I'm gonna top it off with the Choo Choo Beauty blush. For a lighter shade of blush, I like using this kind of brush, yung fluffy. So I just mix all the shades. Ayan. And then top off the excess. And then I just apply it right here. Since it's very light, so, parang naha-highlight niya rin yung under eyes ko. Look at the difference. Sobrang na-lighten niya or na-brighten niya yung side na to. Ayan. It's so nice. I also like to apply some on my nose and also on my chin. So, now it's time to apply a darker shade of blush. And I love to use this one from Chuchu Beauty in the shade Dear Lily. For precise blush application, I like using this brush. This is a highlighter brush, but I like using it as a blush brush. So, I'm just gonna mix these two shades. Ganyan. This is so pigmented, guys. So, top off the excess talaga. I just like to apply it, like, on the center. And we're just gonna build it up. It's so nice. It creates that gradient blush look. And also my nose. Let's not forget the nose. And as you can see, my blush looks so pretty. And now for the fun part, let's apply highlighter. For highlighter na very shimmery lang and like wet look, I highly, highly recommend Lovely Cosmetics Loose Highlighter. Kasi 
talagang para ka lang nag-glow and wala talaga siyang chunky glitter. Pero kung gusto mo yung super pakak na highlight, this one from Get Ready With Me Cosmetics is perfect for you. Like, nandiyan na lahat ng shades na kailangan mo. So now, I'm gonna use this one kasi medyo gusto ko ng pakak na highlight. Mayroon akong smaller version nung brush ko kanina. Actually, tatlo sila or apat. Nabili ko siya sa Glad King. I'm gonna use this one. So for my nose, I'm gonna use Beam and 11 I'm just gonna mix the two shades. Tap off. And then, ilalagay ko lang siya here sa nose bridge. And at the tip of my nose. And for my cheeks, I'm gonna go with Sakura and 11 Para hindi siya ganun ka strong. And for highlighter, minsan nilalagay ko talaga siya sa cheeks. Para ang glowy ko tignan. As you can see, para siyang healthy glow. Minsan nilalagyan ko rin yung forehead ko and then yung chin. Okay, now this is one of my favorite parts then, which is the lipstick or lippy. So now, I'm gonna remove the lip plumper na nilagay ko kanina. And tinatanggal niya rin yung dead skin sa lips mo. Also, I like to pat my lips with the sponge para blank canvas talaga siya. Oh my gosh, wala na pala. I mean... Guys, suggest ko yun sharpener for lip liners kasi bumili ako ng sharpener sa National Bookstore. Hindi siya nag-work sa lip pencil. So, ayun. Please suggest. I'm gonna use the shade you guys. So, yung ginagawa ko is nilaline ko lang yung lips ko. Like, ganyan. Always like to do that para like mas naka-highlight yung Cupid's bow. I highly recommend you guys buy this lip brush. I'll link it in the description box. This is so nice if you like blending out your lipsticks. It gives that really smudged look. So, I highly recommend this. And girls on Doyin always use this. And also like Korean makeup artists. I'll just put the inner part of the lip. And for my lips, I've been loving these lip tints from Lucky Beauty. Like... Meron ako lahat ng shades. They sent me three and then I bought the three other shades kasi sobrang ganda. For my base, I'm gonna be using the shade Nucademia from Roman Juicy Lasting Tint. This is like one of my favorite shades talaga kasi it's nude and it has like that pink undertone, you know? So, ang ganda niya talaga and it's very hydrating and glossy siya. Dagdagan ko lang para coated talaga yung lips ko. So, ang dami kong nililayer sa lips ko para magmukha talaga siyang juicy. So, first, I'm gonna add Razzle from Lucky Beauty. Let's add Razzle from Lucky Beauty sa gitna. And then, I'm gonna use this brush. To, like, blend everything together. I'm gonna apply Felice. The same one, the Lucky Beauty lip tint in the shade Felice. Sa gitna lang, okay? Dito lang sa gitna. Like that. Para magmukhang juicy yung lips natin. And I'm just gonna use my fingers. like. And then, lagyan mo dito sa taas. Dito lang sa taas, okay? Ayan. Before applying lip gloss, this is like an optional step. If you want your lips to look really plump or like bigger, take your contour palette. And gantong brush yung gamitin nyo. Ayan. Take your contour. Tap the excess. Then apply it here. Para magmukhang plump yung lips mo. And then here. So, ayan. Hindi na natin need mag lip filler. So, I'm just adding a little bit of Nucademia again. Para mag-blend siya. It looks really nice and juicy. For the final touch, I'm gonna be using the Choo Choo Beauty Lip Syrup. Actually, any shade will do. Kasi wala naman masyadong difference sa shade. Pag nasa lips na. But, if you're curious what I'm using, it's so berry. And then, when applying lip gloss, guys, tap-tap nyo lang. Tap-tap. And then, don't smack your lips. And then, ibe-blend ko lang yung harsh edges. As you can see, my lips look so juicy and plump. 
Okay, final step is the fixing spray or the setting spray. I have three options for you guys. This one is the ZC Oil Control Setting Spray in Pink Cap. This one can hold your makeup talaga kasi ma-feel mong ano, may nilagay ka na setting spray sa face mo. This one naman, yung ZC na 100ml. This one works like MAC Fix Plus. Yung parang mini-melt niya yung makeup sa face mo. And it's really good if you want that dewy look. Pero nakaka-set din siya ng makeup. This one, from the Get Ready With Me, is kind of the same sa ZC. So... Ayun, mas maganda lang yung ingredients nito kasi mas madami siyang acrylates. But for me, their performance is the same. Also, what I like about the Get Ready With Me one is my mini size siya. So, yun yung lagi kong dinadala pag nagka-travel ako. Today, I'm gonna be using the ZC one. So, shake, 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 and then spray mo lang sa face mo. I like to use this fan para mabilis siyang matuyo. This is how my makeup looks like. Okay, medyo basa pa yung setting spray ko, but this is how it looks like. Magbibias lang ako and I'm also gonna do my hair. I'll be right back. So this is the final look. What do you guys think? This is like my favorite makeup routine talaga kasi I love this kind of makeup looks. Usually pag nagbe-makeup ako, I do my nails. Pero kasi ngayon tinatamad ako. Ito naman siya pag medyo malayo. I really appreciate kung umabot kayo sa end ng video kasi I feel like sobrang haba ng video na to. This is my first ever YouTube video and I'm so happy with how this look turned out. So yeah, comment down below your makeup request and I'm surely gonna do it.